Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial with Roaring Records. Today I want to talk about the piano roll. So the piano roll is what you get if you add a software instrument, which I'll do right now, and it displays the MIDI information that you input into the computer. You could call this sequencing into the computer. So if I have a MIDI region here and I double click on it, that brings up my piano roll. And you could also click on this set of scissors to see what was in the piano roll. And there are lots of cool things. You may notice that my piano roll is white instead of black. Let me show you how to change that. I think the white version is a lot easier to see. So you may want to have the white version as well. So if you go up here to the top of the screen where Logic Pro X is and you click down, you have all your advanced settings on, which you can access here. Then in the display mode, you can come in and go to editors and change your piano roll to have a bright background. Like I said, this to me provides a much easier way to see where the strong beats are in each individual measure. I can see that this line is darker than the others. This line is darker than the others. This line is darker than the others. And this is a whole new measure that's the darkest. That's a little tricky to see here. They all begin to fuzz together a little bit more in this area. So again, I like to use a bright background to input my notes. However, maybe I still don't want to see each individual grid line look like this. That can be a little difficult to look at, honestly. It just, there's a lot of information there. Um, if you're familiar, that's every 16th note, or there are 16 little grid blocks that make up one measure. But the strong beats are only every fourth block. So there's a strong beat, not strong, not strong, not strong, strong beat, not strong, not strong, not strong, strong beat, and so forth. It'd be nice if we could take out some of those when we don't want to see them. Well, we can. If you come up here to this little arrow and drop down, you'll get a few different options. We want to come down to custom. The custom menu is much bigger and it provides a lot more options about what you see um, in front of you. This option right here divides the piano roll. So if we click on the divisions, we can now change it to add either more grids, which seems entirely superfluous or less grids. So maybe we only want to see the strong beats every time the metronome clicks. Well, that would be divided by four. So now we've divided each measure into four parts. Now every line is exactly where the click or the pulse of the song happens. You can still write things in, I'm going to hold my command key to open up my pencil tool. I'm going to write a note in. Well, there's a second note, but I can still drag it into the middle and put it at different places along the way. So now they look approximately like eighth notes, or I can just make quarter notes as it goes. So we can do that. Or if we want to see just quarter notes and eighth notes, which would be downbeats and upbeats, or exact half divisions of the beats, we could divide by eight. Now we see exactly where the eighth notes are. Oops, I missed that one by just a little bit. So we can actually quantize that note and snap it on in, and everything looks good. So now I can see that my exact eighth notes are there. Or if you want to get fancy and look at triplets, you could look at triplet beats. Now I've divided each strong beat into threes. The choice is totally yours. Um, this is just different ways you can mess around with it. Again, 16th notes is the standard that uh, you would have for sure. In most piano rolls, you'll see 16th notes come up first, but you might not want 16th notes. You might want to see less. You might want to see eighths 
or you might want to only see quarters, especially if you're just starting out at this. So uh, those are the different options you have for your piano roll. I hope that helps you be able to find the piano roll that suits your writing style the best. Thanks. Have a great day.